Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting, relaxing and quick questions, so I hope you will enjoy this question. Today we have 12 minus 2 times 3, so on the first side this is like a very easy question, so everyone can handle this question, this is like basic subtraction, basic multiplication, so everyone learns this stuff in the first grade, this is the easiest question you've ever seen, but what about the correct answer? Right here we have three options, so right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, it's really interesting to check up answers in the end of the video and of course to practice your knowledge to practice your brain brain skills okay first of all we have 12 minus 2 times 3 okay let's write this question so I hope you choose one option what do you think is a correct so 12 minus 2 times 3 so what at the first way a lot of students solve it like that they say okay from left to right we have 12 minus 2 we have we have 10 and 10 we have times 3 we have we have 30. So one part of students solve it like that. They say, okay, option option A is a correct. We have this option. This is the obvious solution from, from left from left to right. But here's our main question. Is that correct or not correct? Let's try to think think closely about this about this question. Because right here we have subtraction and multiplication. And obviously we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. Because subtraction, multiplication or multiplication, then subtraction. This is our main question. Because in mass we cannot have like two answers yeah we need to know what is the one and only one correct answer so right here I leave this solution and I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect we need to, uh, to understand about PMDMC order of operation for example let's let's look at this PMDMC this is the most popular order of operation in the world all internet libraries scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC and I want you to look at this order of operation yeah so right here let's try to solve this question according to PMDMC because this one is we solve it whatever we want from left to right we don't care about order of operation but let's solve this according to PMDMC so we have 12 minus 2 times 3 okay and let's look at this PMDMC PMDMC works from the top to the bottom so let's go through the steps real quick so the first step parentheses yeah and let's look at it where do we have this parentheses I don't see any parentheses so we just we just skip this part yeah it's really great because with parentheses this question will be more harder for us we have parentheses and we need to find this exact value of this parentheses we don't have it and it's really great for us okay the next step exponents what about exponents right here I don't see any fifth power 10th power we have like a regular numbers this is integers right here so we skip this part because with exponent it will be like more harder for us as well and we, we don't have it and it's it's really great the next step multiplication and division group so a lot of students make this mistake about only multiplication but we need to add to this multiplication we need to add division so this is one common group right here and we need to look at it in a perspective of a group so we need to find all multiplication and division signs let's look at it so we don't we don't didn't have uh, don't have like a division sign yeah we have one multiplication sign which is which is really great so we need to start from this multiplication this is really important this is really important step because we have like right here we have multiplication and we didn't have division so as you can see first step out of these four is multiplication and saying in other words we have right here subtraction but subtraction is after after multiplication so we did we don't have addition but we have subtraction so we have only two cases take a look we have multiplication and subtraction but if you look closely subtraction and the addition is our last step so this is our final step to subtract these uh, numbers but before this we have multiplication and division group this is more important group than this one so we need to multiply and divide all the thing and then we need to add and subtract okay so right here we have this multiplication so we have 12 minus 2 times 3 equal to 6 and the last step this subtraction this is the obvious obvious subtraction this is equal to 6 okay but one really important moment right here we don't have on the first side we don't have this option 6 right here but um, this is a very tricky moment because a lot of students if, if they solve correctly they then they they feel that they don't have this option and they go back to this option 30 which is option A. They go to this answer 30, which is option A, which is absolutely wrong because option 30 is absolutely wrong. Option A is absolutely wrong because we cannot subtract and then multiply. This is a very big mistake because as you can see, subtraction and addition is our last step. So finally, we need to add and subtract and then 
This is the end of the expression, yeah? So, but before solving this, we need to multiply or divide right here. In our case, we multiply. So, uh, last step is subtraction. So, this is a correct order of operation. So, I hope you understand this key moment right here. Multiplication and division is before addition and subtraction. What about option? Right here, option A, option B. And what about option C? Because this obviously, it's not the same as 6 right here. We have 30 and 8. What about this option C, 3 factorial? We need to know, we need to learn from school that 3 factorial, this is a product from 1 to 3, so we have 1 times 2 times 3, which is equal to 6, yeah, so as you can see, this is a very tricky moment, because this factorial, this is the same as this 6, so a correct answer to this question is 6, because we solved it according to a correct order of operation, according to this test, our answer is option C, so our answer this is option C. So I hope you understand my thought about it. This is like easy question, but I want you to understand this PMDMC order of operation. I want you to understand the main rule that multiplication and division is before addition and subtraction. In the same way, if you, for example, put parentheses right here, yeah, then you need to subtract it first, yeah? Because parentheses are our first step, yeah? But we don't have parentheses, so we can easily, we can easily start from multiplication, which is absolutely correct if you start from multiplication. But if you have parentheses, you can easily start from parentheses because this is our first step. In our case, we don't have parentheses, so correct answer is option option C, and according to PMDMC, correct answer is 6. Okay, this is my explanation. I hope you understand this. If you still have any question, write a question into the comment section, and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.